Hey guys, Crystal Grace here. Welcome back to another Pick A Card reading. This one is all about what do you need to know? So it's just a quick energy check-in. See what comes through. Started shuffling pile ones, downloads were like, woo. So um, we're gonna jump straight into it. So quick disclaimer, could be a trigger warning. You know, there's some pretty heavy energies here when I like low vibrational energies here as I look at these cards. All these cards were shuffled out of the deck. I don't go, you know, uh, scruffling, <laughs> scruffling a word. I don't go scruffling through the deck looking for cards to, you know, provoke your uh, picking or your selection. But um, yeah, maybe there's something that the collective you guys need to hear right now. Um, I might even start doing collective readings over on TikTok just to spice things up a little bit. But, you know, let me know if that is of interest. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but <clears throat> we're going to jump into it. So pile one, pile two and pile three. Funnily enough, we have card two representing pile number two. So, yeah, the disclaimer is like if it starts triggering you, then like opt off the reading. If you are not in the best headspace right now, then I'm probably going to recommend opt off the reading, come back to it at a later date. That's obviously to my original um, subscribers, you know, those who um, do uh, connect with my energy uh, relatively well. <clears throat> So yeah, um, or easily, I should say, or maybe I connect easily with your energy. So with that said, let's get into it. Let's find out what do you need to know. Pile number one, welcome to your reading. So initially when this card like flew out of the deck as I was uh, shuffling a, you know, hot headed, I don't know if what you need to know right now is people are seeing you very hot headed or there are people around you who are becoming very hot-headed. So I feel like for this pile, there's two different messages. And I actually don't feel really called to pull other uh, cards. And feel like this reading is going to be fairly quick um, for all three piles. Hello. You come to say hello to your friends. So over there. You've only got one card. Yeah. So yeah, what I'm picking up... <clears throat> So the message number one is what you need to know is people around some of you are finding you to be in this energy of being very hot headed. You have a very short fuse at the moment. You have, um, uh, it's like, uh, you know, when you overboil the, like the pot on the stove or the, well, you don't really overboil a kettle unless it's on the stove, but that's sort of the energy I'm picking up. So I don't know if what you need to know is there are people around you who is picking up on this energy or maybe what you need to know, pile number um, one, is that if you don't remove yourself from a current situation or an environment or out of certain people's, um, you know, energy, this, this will be you. Okay, if you're not already in this energy, I feel like what you need to know is that you're heading towards this energy. If you do not bring some kind of change to a situation, if you don't create some kind of boundary between you and a person, this you're going to look like this guy. And like this is a whole lot of fucking energy wasted, right? He is losing it like, you know, to a degrees. I looks like it's going to pop right out of his fucking socket. You know, the house is kind of burning down as well. So, <clears throat> yeah, like it's, you know, I feel like what you need to hear or what you need to know is like, if you do not control this situation or diffuse this situation, remove yourself from whatever it is you are facing that is going to lead you down this road, or if you are already in this situation, if you do not remove yourself like a start like yesterday, um, you, you could actually turn kind of aggressive, even violent here. So take that if it resonates. Look, it's very natural to get violent. And what I mean by violent, it could be like you throw a glass at the wall. Hopefully there's no one else in the room, but people do this. This is human nature. When somebody provokes the bear and pushes and pushes and pushes you, it is and you feel trapped and like there's nowhere to go, you're backed into a corner, <clears throat> it can turn you into this guy. And I definitely am confident that I do not 
you know, attract the audience that walk around in this energy because they choose to, you know. So I feel like what you need to know is that <clears throat> if you're not already in this energy, this is where you are heading, dealing with whoever you are dealing with at the moment. I My, my pick is either a bad boss, bad boyfriend, bad girlfriend, bad partner. You could have a very provoking parent, you know, either way, somebody wants you to leave, like go down the road. They're trying to provoke you. <clears throat> They're trying to provoke you to get this react reaction because naturally when we, we turn into this guy, then they've got ammunition on us, right? Especially if you're dealing with a person. Soon as you turn into this guy, then you're the bad guy, right? Th th you know, they'll, as soon as you throw that glass, it's like, you the one who got violent like you're the one who did the wrong thing now so then they can go ahead and gaslight you that's sort of the message i'm picking up so <clears throat> when i think about the number 16 and it equates to number seven what i feel right is like it's it's a number in numerology it's linked with reflection wisdom uh spirituality and diligence right and i feel like it's diligence is what you need right now you need strength as well um, <clears throat> I'm seeing the strength card actually in my third eye, but I feel like you need to do a lot of reflection. I feel like you need to draw upon your spirituality at this time and try and figure out how to remove yourself from this person's energy or this situation. Um, before you get to this, before you do something you are going to regret or in, or if it's going to continue down this path of this of this guy. So that is the message I have for you today. I really hope that found the right viewer. Um, but yeah, sending all my love and light to you. Bye. Pile number two, welcome to your reading. So those of you who chose this blue card, am I blue? So what do you need to hear right now? What I feel is like you obviously have picked this card because you resonate with the imagery, right? So some of you could be feeling blue at this time. Um, I actually kind of feel what you need to hear right now is that you guys are very spiritual. Your crown chakra is very open. It's very activated. Your heart chakra is activated, I'm hearing. Um, you can see things and feel things that no other people around you that can, right? So you already can see an ending as the beginning is commencing, right? So you're very intuitive, um, and the thing is, your situation, I feel, what you need to, uh, I guess, know right now, Paul, too, is that it, it does suck that you can meet somebody, it could be platonic, new friends, new lovers, uh, it can even be family members, and you can have conversations with them, and you, because you are so active, like in the crown chakra, because you're so like psychic, medium, whatever, you, however you get your downloads, um, you can see right through people's intentions, and this is can be a burden. It really can, especially when you have high hopes of a friendship, like you know, uh, unfolding into like a long term one. Uh, you know, uh, a boyfriend, like, you know, somebody you're dating, turning into a boyfriend, like, you know, it fucking sucks because it's like it, it ends before it even begins. So I kind of feel like what you need to uh, hear right now is like uh, nurture yourself in those times and um, try your best. And it's going to be hard. Try your best not to see it as a burden. Um, see it as a blessing and I guess like don't deny the feelings that that those experiences are uh, you know make you feel you know it, it does suck when you think you finally found a really cool friend and then you realize that they are actually a piece of shit and your intuition from the get-go was telling you this person's not that great there was a few light red flags amber flags whatever but their actions were sort of 
masking your your intuition or like putting a veil over like who they really are I feel like a lot of you experience a lot of like wolf in sheep's clothing and just trust the fact and now I now I know what the message is for you today is that the reason why this like uh happens and it probably is happening more frequently lately than ever before. It's to help heighten and strengthen your intuition and trusting your intuition and trusting your psychic abilities. Because the more these sorts of people sort of enter your life and re like leave your life, <clears throat> you're going to go through these periods of learning to trust yourself, you, to trust the third eye, what, what active downloads that you get. Um, I feel like also what you may need to know at this time is meditation might be um, uh, of importance to you going within and and really just trusting the fact that maybe now is a time to spend time alone, uh, but only if that, that feels right for you, that message, because sometimes when we are feeling blue, the best thing to do is surround ourselves by people we can trust. But I kind of feel like... Your energy, you probably don't have a lot of people that you feel comfortable in. So, you know, spending time with your pets, if you have a pet, spending time in nature, grounding, going for walks, uh, obviously always in safe places. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to leave it there. So what you need to hear today is that trust that, yes, don't trust the fact that you, these encounters are to strengthen your skills but do your best not to um it's okay to feel like your psychic build abilities are like burdens um that's completely normal but don't don't allow these experiences to stop you going down the path of you know pursuing your spirituality i'm gonna leave that there so I'm sending much love and light to you at this time. And so is sweetie because she doesn't want you to look at that photo anymore. She wants you to look at her because she's so pretty. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. Pile number three, welcome to your reading. So I'm just writing the timestamps down so I don't... I think that was about... Yeah. do that alrighty <clears throat> so what do you need to know I'm possible so we do have number 18 and which equates to the number nine so I feel like for some of you you know nine is all about fulfillment attainment fruition completion introspection Virgo energy right some of you could be Virgos um, but see how this person is holding herself up. Like, is this person a part of this person? I f feel like there's a duality going on here. I kind of feel like for some of you who have picked this pile is like, you're either not being able to be the person you want to be, <clears throat> or you're not sure how to be the person you want to be. Now, that could be in regards to pursuing a certain kind of career, um, looking a certain way, um, being a part of some kind of subgroup in culture, like a certain culture, like there's all different subgroups in cultures. So, <clears throat> but <clears throat> when I connect, I'm possible, right? And I just feel like this person is not complete. And given that the number nine is all about uh, a sense of completion, attainment, fulfillment, I just feel like what you need to know right now is the path that maybe you're currently on is not going to lead you down a path of completion, fulfillment, attainment, because it's not who you truly are. Um, you're not following your goals and your dreams because you don't believe you it, it is possible, but you're possible. We are all possible. We are all capable, I should say, um, to achieving and conquering our goals and our dreams in some way, shape or form. Now, your dream, okay, let's, look, we all dream we can win the lotto and never... <clears throat> 
you know, be the slave to a CEO again. But let's face the reality, that's not the human that's not the human existence. That's not why we came here. Money is a part of the system. It is, you know, I, so I'm not going to go on a tangent or we'll be on here for all, all night. But what I'm trying to get at is <clears throat> if you had all the money in the world, you wouldn't really experience all the journeys and, you know, the situations and meet the kind of people that you have to grow and develop to the, the human or the soul that you were meant to uh, in this life. So, Hopefully that sort of makes sense. Now, I kind of feel like here is that you may be putting more of an emphasis on the end goal as opposed to the journey. So what you need to hear right now is that maybe take five, have a break. Rome's not a build. Rome's not built in the in a day. Um, stop trying to mold yourself into circles that you can't be molded into. I feel like the more you try and fit yourself into situations and environments that are completely against your morals, your values, this is only going to like set you back. You might think it's going to bring you fulfillment. It's going to help you reach your goal. But I feel like it's killing your soul is what I feel. Like I feel like some of you could be trying to pretend to be something that you're not. And it's because of maybe other people's expectations from you. Like some parents can be really harsh on their kids and be like, you've got to be like me, Darren. Like, And it's like, fuck off. No one needs to be like their parent. Okay, um, we'll, <laughs> parents will come for me, but that's the reality. You know, you are here, you're, you're your own person. So that's where I feel like um, uh, this message is going for this pile is that you don't need to go and fit in a certain caliber of people, status of some kind of society in order to conquer your goals and your dreams. Like I feel like for a lot of you, you're actually losing yourself. Like you're losing your like connection with your soul, like your mind, your body. The more you're sort of embarking down a journey or hanging out with certain people, going to a certain workplace, um, because it's not meant for you. you. It's like you're trying to fit a square into a circle. And um, yeah, I'm kind of going to leave it there. Nice and short and sweet here. But um, that's your message today. Um, hopefully it wasn't too confronting. But yeah, let me know if it resonated. Sending much love and light to you. Bye.